What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. Today, I'm doing race picks for the 2022 Bank of America Robo 400. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series, headed Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Charlotte Robo. Also, this is the cutoff race for the round of 12 as well, and we will set the drivers who will be going for the round of 8 as well. And this also is the 6th, or technically the 6th race of the playoffs as well. And after this week, there will be 4 races left to go in the championship to decide who will be the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series championship. And this also is the final road course race of the 2022 season. A lot of early things are probably going to happen, and let's go ahead and talk about it. But first, we're going to take a look at the picks. Let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So, the weather for this weekend is actually looking really, really promising. It's going to be 69 degrees, nice as the high, and 45 degrees as the low, with right now a 0% chance of rain. So, weather's looking very, very promising. It's probably going to be light j jacket weather for the morning when you get there, and you probably take those jackets off when you get to the race. So now, let's also take a look at the playoff standings going into this weekend's race at the Roval. So after Chase Elliott won at Talladega, he ended up picking up the win. He is locked into the next round. Ryan Blaney is 32 points above the cutoff line. Ross Chastain is 28 above the cutoff line. Denny Hamlin is 21 above the cutoff line. Joe Logano and Kyle Larson each are 18 above the cutoff line. Daniel Suarez is 12 above the cutoff line. And Chase Briscoe is currently tied with 0 points above the cutoff line. The four drivers below, Austin Hendrick is zero points below the reasons because Chase Briscoe has a tiebreaker if they do end up tying. Uh, William Byron is 11 points below the cutoff line. Chris Bell is 33 below, and Alex Bowman is 54 below. William Byron's penalty, of course, coming up later today, and that could affect changes when it comes to the playoff grid. Chris Bell is in a must-win situation, and Austin Hendrick just has to get a few more points than Chase Briscoe to be safe. I think everyone above, Larson and above, is guaranteed safe. They're 18 points above. They just cannot have any more issues, and everyone else just cannot have a really, really bad day. So now, let's finally get in the picks. So for those of you who are new to the channel, here's how I do picks on the channel. I do two suck picks, two drivers I think are going to really, really struggle, who have continued their struggles or have struggled on these types of racetracks. Two underdog picks, two drivers I expect to run really well, who are in underfunded equipment, who will continue their strong runs. And then I do the winner's pick as well. The driver I think is going to win the race. So now, let's get into the two suck picks. Who are my two suck picks for this weekend at the Rumble? My first suck pick is a guy who actually did get a top 10 the last time we were at a road course. But unfortunately, I don't think that luck, well, the second to last time we were at a road course being Indy. Unfortunately, I don't see that luck turning around. I think Toyota has really struggled on the road courses this year. I don't see this guy running really, really well. I'm talking about Bubble Walls. Bubble Walls has been hit or miss on the road courses. And I feel like that the 2311 racing for the last few weeks, they've kind of been struggling just a little bit. They've had issues with their engines and some issues with their cooling systems and all that that have really affected the team overall. I don't think Bubble Walls is going to have a good run this weekend. I think he runs outside the top 20. And it's unfortunate because I feel like going into the playoffs, this team is really doing a good job. It's just a shame the last weeks have not gone good. I think Bub is going to struggle this weekend here at the Roval. My other suck pick for this weekend, this guy has had a miserable 2022 and a miserable playoffs. This guy's had three or four DNS in all the races we've had so far and has struggled in the other races we've had so far. Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch has just had a miserable 2022. I think he's definitely ready to move on to 2023 and go over to Rich Schultz Racing to drive the A car next year. I think he's ready to move on, to be honest. I just think he's just had an awful year this year, and I think Kyle Busch is ready to move on. And you look at Toyota as well. They've struggled on the road courses this year. So I think that Kyle Busch is going to struggle this weekend at the Roval. And now we're going to jump on to the underdog picks for this weekend at the Roval. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick is a driver who had a really impressive run going at Watkins Glen. But unfortunately, they had a failure in the car. He actually was leading the race when that failure ended up happening. On top of that, he's coming off an impressive run at Talladega. We ended up finishing in the top 10 and ran top 10 pretty much all day long. Todd Gilliland. Todd Gilliland has been really good on the road courses this year. And I feel like as the year has progressed, Todd Gilliland has become a much better driver. I feel like Ferrari Motorsports as well has generally improved over the last couple of years. They're having their best year as an organization overall. So I think Todd Gillen is going to have a really strong run, and I think the 38 car is going to be really, really fast. My other underdog pick for this weekend is his teammate, Michael McDowell. 
Michael McDowell is having his best career season up to this point. Despite not winning a race this year, he's had like three or four top fives and 12 top tens this year. And it was noted by Dustin Albino that he had in the first four years of front row, he had 12 top tens in four years. This year, he's had 12 top tens just in the season. And we still have five races to go. Michael Dow is going to be underdog to win the race, in my opinion. And I think he's got a really good shot to get it done this weekend at the Roval. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for this weekend at the Charlotte Roval. Who is my winner's pick? My winner's pick for this weekend, this guy has been arguably the best driver at the Charlotte Roval. Historically, he's won your twice of four. And I think he's going to get his third win in history here at the Charlotte Roval in the fifth year of this track. I am picking Chase Elliott to get a sixth win of the 2022 season, becoming the first six-time winner in the next-gen era, and he will become the winner this weekend. Chase Elliott's been really strong on the road courses this year. He was really fast in Road America. Probably should have won Watkins Glen. Probably should have been up there contending against Tyler Reddick to win the Indy Road Course. I don't think Chase Elliott has those problems this time around, and I think Chase Elliott will pick up his sixth victory of 2022 and a second straight victory this weekend at the Road. And now we're going to jump on to ones that you need to watch out for for this weekend at the Roval. Who are the ones to watch out for? The first driver I think you need to keep your eyes out on is a driver I think really is the biggest threat to Chase Elliott in these playoffs so far. A driver who has won only two races this year, but this guy has been generally super, super quick. I'm talking about Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson is the defending winner of this race, had that really incredible comeback the last time we were here, and I think that Kyle Larson will absolutely once again be a threat. He's coming in 18 points above the cutoff line. I don't think he has to worry about getting points as much. Maybe he gets a few points at some of the stages, but I think Larson and this five team are going to be really, really fast this weekend, and I think Kyle Larson will definitely be a threat to win this weekend at the Roble. My second driver I need to watch out for is probably been the second best driver generally at road courses this year. And this guy has been really strong this year. And is coming off a win at Texas Motor Speedway. And is looking to win two of the last three races, Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick has been incredible on road courses this year. I feel like he's been the biggest challenger to Chase Elliott on the road courses so far in 2022. Now, 2023 probably will not be the biggest challenger there because he'll be in the third car for Rich Hills Racing. But I think Reddick will absolutely be a threat to win this weekend. This number 18 has been really strong on the road courses, and I think Reddick will have a good chance to win this weekend. The third driver we need to watch out for is a driver who won his first car race on a road course earlier this year, that being at Sonoma, Daniel Suarez. I think Daniel Suarez is going to be a top five threat this weekend. I think the 9019 has been super, super quick at pretty much every track, and Suarez has been quietly having a really good second and half of the year. He's had a lot of top fives and a lot of top tens. He's coming off a pretty decent run at Talladega, where he's going into this race with a pretty decent cushion. I think Suarez will be trying to focus on get some points. But I also think he'll be going for the win. I think Suarez will be a threat to win this weekend at the Roval. The fourth driver we need to watch out for is a driver of the 17th for RFK Racing, Chris Busher. Chris Busher has been outstanding on road courses this year. At Sonoma, ran extremely well. Probably had the best car for majority of the day. But at the end of the day, got passed by Daniel Suarez late. And never could fully recover to get back by Daniel Suarez. I think Busher is going to be really, really quick this weekend. This number 17 team has been getting faster and faster as years progress. And I think Busher is absolutely going to be a threat to win this weekend at the Charlotte Roval. The fifth driver you need to watch out for is a driver who just announced today, well, tomorrow, yesterday when you're watching this, that he will be driving full-time once again in the Cup Series in 2023 for the first time since 2018, AJ Allmendinger. AJ has been super quick on the road courses. He's won a couple Xfinity Series races at the Roval. I think he's won the last three straight races on the Roval, road course races, as a matter of fact, and is looking to go four in a row at a Roval this weekend in the Xfinity Series. I think AJ is going to be really, really quick, and I think the 16 team is absolutely going to be a threat to win this weekend at the Roval. And a final driver I think you need to watch out for is a driver who's currently below the cutoff line in the standings, but this guy's been very fast on the road courses. Not as fast as I thought he was going to be, but he's been very, very fast on the road courses. Austin Sendrick. Austin Sendrick has been really, really strong this year, in my opinion. This two team has been really, really fast and has shown a lot of pace in the second half. I think he's been one of the top five most consistent drivers in the second half of the year. So I expect that Sendrick is going to be really, really strong this weekend. And I think Austin Sendrick is going to have a really good chance to win this weekend at the Charlotte Row. So anyway, those are going to be our race picks 
for the Charlotte Rubble. Just a reminder, my stack picks are Bubba Walls and Kyle Busch. My underdog picks are Todd Gillen and Michael McDowell. My winner's pick is Chase Elliott. And the ones to watch are Kyle Larson, Tyler Reddick, Daniel Suarez, Chris Buescher, A.J. Allmendinger, and Austin Center. Those are the ones they need to watch out for as well. So anyway, that is going to be for today's Rakes Picks video for the Charlotte Robo. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so you'll be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And support me on Patreon as well. Links in the description below for that. And combo your picks for this weekend at the Charlotte Robo. Tell me your two suck picks, tell me your two underdog picks, and tell me who you think is going to win this weekend at the Charlotte Rumble. And let me know the ones you're also keeping an eye out on that are not the winner that you think will be threats to win as well. Let me know that in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, we're going to have a NASCAR news video. We're going to catch up on all the NASCAR news over the last couple days. There's a lot that I think is expected to come out over the next couple days. Then Saturday, we're going to have race picks on the, the race review for the NASCAR Xfinity Series at the Roval. And then on Sunday, we will have the cup review from the Char Roval. We'll probably be having it up around 4.35 o'clock considering that race is probably going to be a really short race. It's going to be a really fast-paced race. I'm really excited for that. I cannot wait for the weekend. The Monday, we'll probably have another NASCAR news video. And then, of course, there's probably some an update video that might be coming this week. But we'll have to wait and see if that happens. So anyway, like I said... I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.